The College Board shares the latest information on how students can take challenging courses and earn college credit in high school. Today I have Terry Redican, AP Vice President, the College Board. Good morning, Terry. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Thanks for having me, James. Well, thanks for joining us. So, Terry, what are the benefits of high school students taking college-level AP courses? AP courses prepare students for success in college and beyond. Students who succeed on AP exams earn college credit, meaning they can skip introductory courses in college, saving them time and money. Now, research shows that AP students earn higher college GPAs and are more likely to graduate on time, helping them stand out on their college applications. And we've got some new research that shows students who don't score high enough to skip those introductory courses, they can still benefit. You see, regardless of score on an AP exam, AP students are more likely to succeed in introductory college courses once they land on campus. Now, how does a student decide which AP course to take, and how many AP courses should students take in high school? Yeah, there, there's many to choose from. We have 39 AP courses in total, so, you know, it, 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 it can be tough to figure out what's for you. But we have an online free tool called AP Potential that students can use to help direct them and, and find the right fit for them if they're interested in AP. Um, they can access it from their SAT or their PSAT score report, and based on the specific strengths they demonstrated on either your SAT or PSAT, it sort of targets them at uh, some AP courses that they have an elevated potential for success in. And, you know, those benefits that we uh, mentioned earlier, um, they present themselves with taking only one or two AP courses. You don't need to take loads of AP courses. So, you know, use that AP potential report, keep that in mind, sit down with a parent or a counselor and figure out maybe if there's a, a good fit for you. Now, what's a good AP course for students who've never taken an AP before? Oh, uh, there are a couple really good entry points uh, as far as AP courses for students trying for the first time. AP Computer Science Principles is a really good course. You know, some people hear computer science and say, not for me, but this course is for everyone. Uh, students end up loving it. You don't have to have any prior experience knowing how to code. Um, you learn how to code in there. You learn the foundations of computer science. You learn how to build apps. It's, it's a really cool course. And then the other course I'll mention is AP Seminar. It's a skills-based course, meaning you practice college-level skills like critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and you, the assignments in there practice those skills. You know, colleges said we're looking for those kind of courses, and they helped us build AP Seminar a few years back. So those are two that jump out. And AP is not just for 11th and 12th graders anymore. Um, we're finding lots more 10th graders are starting to be interested in, in trying out AP, and those two courses uh, are, are pretty noteworthy because 10th graders are, are starting to really take them, and, and we're getting great feedback on them. Terry, why does it sound like maybe some adults should be taking some of these courses too? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Now, what resources are available to prepare students for AP exams? Yeah, we've got a couple resources. They're free, they're online. The first one I'll mention is AP Classroom. They're not just for students, but teachers have access to it as well. It essentially has instructional resources, uh, lesson supports, practice, uh, questions that teachers can use, students can use throughout the entire school year, um, and students can use it now especially to reinforce some of what they learned in the first semester as AP exams are on the horizon come May. There's one other I'll mention, AP Daily. It's a series of videos for every AP course covering every unit uh, and topic uh, in that course, and they're uh, free videos that are made by expert longtime AP teachers. Uh, young AP teachers love sort of uh, bringing them into class sometimes to bolster their instruction, and students love using them to reinforce their learning. Now, Terry, where can parents and students get more information? Yeah, for more information on anything we talked about and more, go to our website, exploreap.org. Ms. Speaking with Terry Redican, AP Vice President, the College Board. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend, and I still want to reiterate, I think some adults could use some of these courses too, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I like how you think. Thanks, James. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Terry.